So there are some fun nuances that happen as you're following this Swiss Army knife of LMA. One thing that we know uh, already, after you've already watched this video on Swiss Army Knife of LMA, is that it's an algorithm. So it's an algorithm, meaning that it's a pattern that if you follow it, it's going to work for you, these four steps. But there's some fun nuances in here, and the first one I'm gonna talk about is giving advice. Now, where do you give advice within this, uh, when the, within this algorithm? Most of the time it happens right here while you're coaching. You're gonna be in coaching in lots of different times during the day. And as, uh, as you remember, when we're coaching, we're always asking questions. We're very rarely telling people exactly what to do. Now you do that a lot in your training, you're telling them exactly what to do following the process. But once you've trained them and you move into coaching, you really wanna start with questioning them. Uh, what do you think you should try? What worked last time? What do you think your first step should be? So we really want to engage in coaching. But then there is also a time when we really need to give advice. You as the boss, you are a mentor. You've had lots of experiences that you want to share. So we're going to talk today about giving advice. But that's where it happens, right here while you are in coaching mode. I'm going to move this here. And now we're going to talk about giving advice. So I'm a coach, and very often my clients call me in between their sessions. And it's usually they're having an issue, and I help them identify, discuss, and solve their issue. Well, one of the really great benefits of coaching many teams at one time is sometimes this team has had a situation that this team could really benefit from. And so I'm able to possibly give advice to, to teams as I'm coaching them. So I've come up with some good tips for you. So the first one here is we're gonna get rid of the word giving. Well, shoot, I'm having a facilitator faux pas with, the pen, with a marker. So we're gonna get rid of the word giving, and I'd like you to really think about the word offer. So it's still a gift, but it's an offer. And this word, uh, words mean things. Words are very powerful. So use this word offer a lot when you are giving advice. So we're gonna talk about that. So we're going to offer advice. And one of the phrases that I like to use is, would you like me to offer some suggestions or ideas? And so listen to the way I've said that. Would you like me to offer some suggestions or ideas? So I didn't use e even the word advice. Would you like me to offer some? Instead of what normally comes out of our mind is, can I give you some advice? So when we say, can I give you some advice, it's on me. Can I do this? Uh, if you ask it the first way, would you like me to offer some suggestions or ideas? It's on them. They get to say, yes, I am asking for this. So the first one here is to offer suggestions or ideas. But ask them. Here's another tip. When you are offering advice, use your experiences, not theory. So we're going to speak from experience. So it might go something like this. Uh, when I was a young manager, I also had this experience and this is what I did. Versus, well, you know what they always say, the early bird gets the worm. That's just speaking from theory. So if you have a theory in your mind, like, oh, they should be working from this approach, go ahead and think about what is, what is a time when I've used that theory when it really worked for me. The advice goes over so much better if they know that you've also applied it. The next tip is when you are offering advice, give multiple ideas. One of my favorite things to use is I will say, well, I've had several clients 
in this same situation, would you like me to offer some experiences that they've had? And most likely, most often, the answer is yes, please. And so I'll say one company did this, one company did that, one company did a mixture of two. So instead of me just saying, oh, you know what you should do, you should A, B, and C. When I say what you should do, A, B, and C, it takes all the power away from them and places it all back on me, which is the opposite of what we're trying to do. Remember, we're trying to get them to think during this coaching mode. So offer multiple ideas. You could do this, you could do that. So offer multiple choices. The next one here is be humble. So have some good understanding of where they are. Um, use phrases like, I remember when that happened to me too, or I used to feel that way as well, or when I made that mistake, this is what happened to me. Be humble, come to their level and just really show some understanding. If you'll do that before even you start offering these multiple ideas, it just opens their whole, their, almost their whole spirit into, we are on this team together. We are solving this idea or solving this issue together. So be humble. And then as you're working through these, this advice mode where you're offering multiple ideas, where you're sharing experiences, where you've already asked, um, would you like me to offer some suggestions? Keep, uh, keep a spirit of co-creation. Because one of these ideas that you might offer, they have a different spin on it. And so your direct report will say, oh, and if I did that, and so you're just gonna co-create this solution. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be one of your ideas. It could be none of your ideas, but just you offering some ideas is gonna help spur their brain to think as well. So don't let it, just because you are going into this offering advice mode, doesn't really mean that you're taking back over. You're going to co-create a solution together. Um, now, imagine that you have been in this offering stage and it sounds like maybe you've offered a couple of ideas, you're co-creating. The next mode you can move into is inquiry. So you have already been in inquiry mode when you started to ask some questions. What would you try first? You've already done that. This is the last stage of the inquiry mode, kind of after you've given the advice. And the two questions that I really like is after you've talked about lots of ideas, the, the first one I really like is what feels right to you? What feels right? What feels right to you? And we're really honing this intuition of our direct report. When they've heard all of these ideas, they know a lot more about the situation than you do. And so what feels right to you is a, so one of the solutions that you could try. What feels right? Try that. I have had this work 99% of the time. What feels right to you, something pops right out. Um, now you could have to go back into coaching mode right there but most of the time it's a really great solution and you're just gonna support them running with it. And then number two to wrap up, what's your next step? What is the next step? So you wanna get them walking out of your office, taking their monkey with them, obviously, because we don't wanna rescue them, but taking their monkey with them and really getting them to commit to something that they're gonna probably do right away. Get an appointment on the calendar, do some research, whatever it is, but have them talk it through with you what that next step is. If they're just thinking about it, they might forget, but when they think about it and say it, especially to you, most likely that next step is gonna happen. So if you feel like you need to go into advice mode, um, offering advice, wisdom sharing mode, then go ahead and try these tips on how best to offer advice during coaching.